Hey guys, today I'm going to go over what's in our filament drying kit. So I'm going to give you a quick unboxing and then explain how each part works together. Now, this is something we put together specifically for drying high temperature performance thermoplastics like Peak, Ultem, PPSU, PAC, and all the other ones. And this is exactly what we use in our shop, except that we made it so that it goes in a nice little box that we can ship to you. Okay guys, now why would you get this instead of the print dry or you know one of the eSun solutions or some of those other options out there on the market? Well, those are great solutions for low temperature thermoplastics that dry anywhere from 50 to 70 Celsius. But all the high temp stuff requires a minimum of 120 Celsius for drying. And you know, 70 Celsius in a dehydrator doesn't really keep it dry for a long time. It does a good job, it'll help, it's better than nothing, but really fully evacuating all the moisture using a vacuum chamber with a hot spool is the best way we've found to print these performance thermoplastics. And it just works a little bit better even for stuff like nylon or polycarbonate. So let's get right into it and we'll start at the top. Okay, so when you open the box, obviously there's going to be some packing material. You just take that right out. Now that we got all that out of there, you will find a vacuum drying chamber. This is the vacuum pump. And you've got the oven. Okay, so inside on top of the oven, you're gonna find some instructions. Now this has some basic stuff about operating what you'll find in the box and our methodology. So I'll get into that in just a bit. First thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna take the oven out of the styrofoam and the plastic, whoo, and the plastic case. Now inside, may have plastic around this thing. Take all the plastic out. Yes, this is a customized toaster oven. It works great, we've been doing it for years. We have some higher end, more expensive ovens coming very soon, but really this is all you actually need. So, on here you'll see that we've actually customized this and we've got the different temperatures that you'll be using on the front of the control knobs. Now generally for high temp, it's gonna be around 130 Celsius, and then for lower temp stuff, it'll be around the 70 or lower. So I'll go into this in a little more detail in just a second. Let's look at what else is in the kit. You'll have the vacuum chamber itself, and that comes upside down, and you'll find all the gauges and everything else, the valves on here. And then we'll just take this right out and you've got that and then this just sits right on top like that we've also got the vacuum pump now we do tape it together so you'll need something sharp just to cut that tape and then take it like this Woo! bada bing bada boom right there so we'll get all this out and it comes with the hose pre-installed with a brass fitting so you don't really have to do much. Pretty much take it out of the box, get the cables ready. And then this thing just tightens right there, it should be good to go. And that's it. That's what's in the box. Now let's go over a really quick, easy setup, sort of what you're going to have to do when you take it out. First thing you're gonna, gonna wanna do with the pump is actually inside the chamber. We've included 300 milliliters of vacuum pump oil. Now it's important to use this stuff and don't use anything else. We source some high quality stuff, so you'll be good to go with this. If you ever happen to need more, just hit us up. So we've included 300 milliliters of the vacuum pump oil and this unit actually takes 220. So you'll have a little bit left over in the third bottle after you filled it up. Now the way you fill it up is you actually just take this cap off here and then you put in two of the bottles and a little extra until it gets up to the min-max line, somewhere in between there and you're good to go. So once that's done, you should be good to go. Now we'll put this top back on here. 
All right, so you'll notice there's actually a clamp on the end of this here, and you don't really need to use it. You can optionally, uh, but it's not really a requirement because it'll still take tons of pressure and it'll work perfectly fine. So I'm actually just gonna take this off real quick. Um, Jay, I need a Phillips screwdriver. The hand of Jay appears once again. That's awesome. So I'm just gonna loosen this thing up real quick. Just get it super loose. Now this fits over that. It's pretty tight and there we are. So then you plug this in, you got your thing filled up and you're just basically gonna turn it on and the thing will work. But first, we're gonna look at the valves here. When these valves are set up, this is closed to both sides. And then if you wanted to, you know, I'm gonna close both. And then if I want to pull vacuum, I'm just gonna open this one up, pull the vacuum. And once this gauge reaches negative 30 PSI or negative one bar, then I'm just gonna close the valve again, shut off the pump, and then I'm free to remove the hose or you know whatever I wanna do. And then this can be stored for a long time or you can do a couple vacuum pulls and then print your filament. Um, I'll note here uh, that it is very important to put a hot filament spool directly into the vacuum. If you put a cold spool in there, it's not really gonna do much. You need that heat so that when it's in the vacuum, it lowers the boiling temperature of the water and makes that moisture just off gas right into nothing. Works really, really well. So there we go, we've got that. When you want to open it again, you'll notice a filter over here. So instead of opening this side, uh, there's a chance you could actually pull in vacuum oil from the vacuum. So what you wanna do is only open the filtered side, let the air come back in, and then you're good to go. And you take the lid back off. Now, this is sized for three to four filament spools, depending how wide the spool is, uh, you know, how many grams are on the spool, uh, but they fit right in there really great. Uh, a couple tips, when you have the filament in there and it's at negative 30 PSI, you can agitate it. You can shake it around a little bit and that actually makes the water molecules somehow actually move more and evaporate better. So yeah, that's the basic setup. Now, let me show you the oven. So the oven we've actually taken and we've got a couple different um, temperatures set on here. 130 is, is what this oven actually does around 130. You definitely want to preheat the oven because it will go up and down until it reaches that perfect point and you don't want to burn your filament or melt your polymer or your spools. Now if you're using our metal spools that won't be an issue at all. Uh, we highly recommend using metal spools because then you never have to deal with that. You can check out the video on our metal spools or on our website at visionminer.com slash spools. So we've got 130, 150, 200. And if you're doing PLA or TPU or something low temperature, we recommend just having it somewhere straight up or further to the left because it will still get hot into the 50 to 60 range but it shouldn't melt your spools and it won't melt your polymers. If you're doing PLA and PETG and you go too hot, then, well, it'll, you'll end up having a solid spool of filament. Uh, it's not fun. Sometimes you can use it, but not recommended. Now down here, we've got the on and the off. This middle one, don't worry about that. Just leave it there on the left. That's what we normally do is we just leave it in the on position because we're drying for six to 10 hours at a time, sometimes less, sometimes more. Now you also have the option of using the 10 minute to 60 minute timer. So the reason the timer's still on there is that sometimes we'll dry filament out overnight or the night before or all day beforehand, then we'll be going home. So we're like, well, we'll put it in the vacuum chamber. And the next morning it should be ready to go, but we like to just put it in for another hour or so just to make sure it's nice and dry. Again, remember to preheat this oven. It's really, really important. You don't want all that fluctuation and the heat and everything going on there. So make sure it's up to temperature before you start the timer or put your filament in there. And then you can use the 60 minute timer and that will ding at you when it's ready to go. And then you put it back into the vacuum chamber, pull that negative 30 PSI and your filament's gonna be ready to print right out of the vacuum chamber. Now, 
something you want to consider if you have a, a machine like the Funmat HT, then it actually has a filament chamber on the side. And when we're at 90 Celsius in the chamber, that the filament chamber actually stays around 70 Celsius, which is going to keep the filament pretty dry. There's other methodologies like you know, injecting nitrogen or argon, uh, but usually that's overkill. And we managed to get up to 18 or 24 hour prints just with the hot chamber on the side. So, what else to go over? Let me just go over the instructions real quick, make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, so just to recap, the most important things to do when you get this and take it all out the box, the first thing you wanna do is fill your pump with oil. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is preheat the oven. Those two things, and frankly, it's gonna be really hard to mess up. From our shop to yours, we finally got these in. They're sold out, I got more coming next week, so by the time this video is released, they're gonna be there and they'll be available on the website for sale at visionminer.com slash dry kit. If you're printing high temperature filaments or even nylons and um, even ABS and PLA occasionally need drying, this is the solution. This is everything you need to do an extremely thorough job at drying that filament and getting it ready for processing or melting. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you've got any questions, shoot us an email at contactdivisionminer.com or give us a call. We're out here in sunny Southern California, and our number is 833-774-6863. We specialize in high-temperature polymers like Ultem and Peak and PPSU, so hit us up, let us know what you're doing, and we're here to help. Thanks for watching, have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.